Awesome. Man, is she a looker. With all this engineering that's going on here, if this thing tastes good, you might compare this to the BMW of vaping. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hunky Vape. I'm your host, DJ Alex, and today we're taking a look at the Osiris RTA. So ain't nothing to it, but to get into it. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, finally time for us to open up the Osiris RTA. Man, is that a heavy tank? 102? The Arbiter's 90. The Kylan V3 is 78. But the Osiris almost hits 102 grams. Wow, that is a heavy, chunky tank. I know, it's 30 millimeters. So you would expect it to be, you know, a fair weight. 43 millimeters tall with a drip tip. 36 without. But that is a solid chunk of stainless. Quarter turn top cap. And look at this on the bottom. Talk about over engineering something. We have ourselves a retainer for this bottom portion. You have to move it from fixed to open in order for you to remove the bottom. Well, let's look at the airflow while we're here. Man, you could cut that down all the way to a single slot. I don't think anybody is going to be doing that with a dual coil. And juice flow control. You can completely shut off the juice flow. Left side open. Left side open. Is this a gimmick? Or is this actually going to improve the capabilities of this tank? All right. Open that. Supposed to give it a quarter turn. And then it comes apart. And there's the pin that corresponds to this. So when I take and I fix this, you'll see out pops that little pin right there. And that pin is what keeps you from removing the bot the base from the tank. When you open it, it retracts that pin. How about airflow control? We took a look and we saw the different honeycomb options available to us. That's wide open. All that massive airflow is compressed into a single channel coming up the bottom. It's kind of like what happens with the Arbiter. But look at the amount of airflow available here versus the amount of airflow here. They're solely focused on the center of your coils, keeping that cool. So by doing that, you could really create some intense velocity for the airflow coming in through all these honeycombs that keeps the airflow smooth into a massive chunk of airflow directed at a 45 degree angle for your coils. How about these grub screws? Flathead grub screws is their, their choice. Well, that's interesting. But because they are inside of that chamber, it does make it easy for your screwdriver to find the right spot to grip it and retract those grub screws. Threading isn't as smooth as I would expect it for something this 
well engineered but I mean it's not like coarse or rough or anything alright what else comes in this package well looks like we've got a bunch of spare o-rings and spare grub screws that are also flat no coils and looks like it's glued in there well, fortunately, when I order tanks, I like to get myself a spare bubble glass. Not realizing that there wasn't a bubble glass even included in this RTA. I mean, seriously, folks, when's the last time you bought a tank, especially one that wasn't one of the cheaper RTAs, and it didn't even include a spare glass, let alone a bubble glass? When you're running a dual coil tank, you need the e-liquid capacity to get you through look at that and what's it going to take for us to get this swapped out all right i'm gonna have to order another uh bubble glass to have as a spare because i don't want to have to revert back to using this throw this on the build stand and i think i'm gonna go with some uh, NI90 wrapped in NI80 three millimeter inner diameter coil, 0.26 for each coil. And we're gonna have to prep these coils as well. Now, because these are so close together and the coil's literally gonna be sitting over here on this end of it, we're gonna prep it so the leads come off of the side of the coil, not down the middle like I normally do it. So that means we drop our coils into here, secure them. We're going to wrap this till you get a 90 degree angle. And then we're gonna use our non-marring pliers and we're going to bend that back 90 degrees. And we'll do these for both of the coils. There you go. Awesome. How about the height? What are we gonna do for the height of this tank? That's the depth of our well. Five and a half millimeters of depth. And then we're going to wanna to come up another millimeter or two, six and a half. We'll go with six and a half.
awesome. Man, is she a looker. With all this engineering that's going on here, if this thing tastes good, you might compare this to the BMW of vaping. Well, new coil, yes, 0 0.119. Let's start off low, go about 55. 65, 75, let's go to 80. There's some heat to it, but the airflow is cooling that down and it's not like all the same temperature. 85, wow, a beautiful, wet, fully saturated vape. 85 watts is what it takes for me to get close to the temperature and warmth that I normally vape it at, but it's got a lot more airflow that I'm normally accustomed to. But it's a beautiful, wet, definitely flavorful vape. Just a whole heck of a lot more airflow than I like. So I'm gonna close off four of those airflow openings. Holy flavor! The sweetness is accentuated in this vape compared to other ones. I'm still getting the creams. I'm still getting that like that custardy kind of note to it. But the airflow is just like like a freight train's coming. And it's drinking that juice. Let's compare that with what I just started the review on. Mike Vapes Blaze. The Blaze Solo and the Blaze. This is the Blaze RTA. Close the airflow down just a little bit. The flavor is a little more complex in the Osiris. The Osiris accentuates the creams in this recipe. Wow. How about the Blaze Solo? Man, all three of these are fantastic tanks. I need to swap out the, the e-liquid that's in this Arbiter because right now it's got Cinnamon Dana Swirl in there and it is way more flavorful and way more complex than these other three. The Osiris, it is a very well engineered vape and it is giving equally amazing results in the e-liquid. You legit have to go back and forth between flavors to be able to accurately determine the flavor capacity on this is bringing out nuances and complexities in the e-liquid I didn't even know were in there. Now, it's not my favorite. Yes, it's giving amazing flavor potential that anybody could easily throw together. And for $60, they better damn well do that. But sometimes you just like the simplicity of the Arbiter. The flavors are all there. Yeah, you may not get the intricate nuances of it. You might need the Arbiter 2 to be able to tell a little bit of the intricacies, how much of the percentage of the cinnamon versus the the creamy aspects on top of a muffin of the vanilla frosting. But the Cyrus nailed it. Bang, right on. Gets all those nuances. But listen to the airflow. Versus the Arbiter. Versus the Blaze. versus the Blaze Solo. The airflow is so much smoother on the Blaze Solo than it is on the Osiris. And that's not a distinct difference. It's just, you're splitting hairs at this point with these RTAs, they are that fantastic. I'm telling you, you can't go wrong with any of them. 
The drip tip on this one is such a larger diameter bore than the other ones. It's strictly a matter of preference at this point. Do you prefer a drip tip that it is 21 millimeters in diameter versus 18 millimeters in diameter? The Blaze Solo, once again, the creams are not as prominent as it is in the Osiris, but they're there. So which of these is gonna be my favorite? Wow. Wow, 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 is this airflow fantastic? And the flavor is unsurpassed. This may be the best RTA ever. So with that, my wish is always peace, love, and a hunky vape to end cigarette combustion. And I hope you have a fantastic day.